chief, so we have a total of 10 individuals who are sworn officers or sworn officer positions. Uh, back in July of last year, we uh, terminated an employee and reallocated or reassigned the duties to another individual non-law enforcement position. And um, I want to, for the latest or the next school that will open up on July the 1st, the academy, I want to reallocate that vacant position to a police officer so that we would end up having eight police officers, two sergeants, and the chief. Um, Chad would like over time for us to develop a corporal level position and you go to the far right and you'll see that and actually a structured pay situation that would allow for some pay hikes uh, once an officer had completed their probation and then after um, they had served for three years. Uh, we've given you um, some comparisons between Allegheny County and uh, Covington and you'll see that um, without exception um, what Chad has suggested and which um, I support, haven't found the money to do it yet, <laughs> which I support, um, I think is the position that we ought to be moving toward. Um, as soon as possible and uh, we've also shared with you down at the bottom um, the insurance issue which uh, complicates the world uh, when it comes to take home uh, pay because we do not have a competitive um, insurance plan. We pay 100% uh, for um, the employee and nothing toward uh, any additional coverage uh, employee spouse, employee family, whereas um, the other organizations uh, in the area do have uh, some payment. We already know that our premium for employee only is going to go up uh, this year from $729 per month per employee to $763 a month. And we are in a pool of small communities so um, that's um, not based mm -hmm. that standard well that's that's for all of the employees that are in our group of um, small employees in the local choice uh, program so with that kind of as introduction I want Chad to speak to you all about what he has been doing what his experience has been in uh, Finding recruits. This is what I want to ask you for, excuse me. So right now you're saying you have um, seven officers? Correct. Okay. Right of now which I've four are actually on duty. Three are vacant positions. No, this number that you have, have down here is have seven. Right a now. year. I'm, I'm slated Those for ten four. officers total, including myself. We have Thir four. Thirteen, forty-nine per myself, month. two sergeants, and four patrol officers. Six. Yes. If it's an employee okay. plus one. Yeah, what's a lot of three to hire for this next academy class. Okay. Uh, All right. This Sorry. has been an ongoing issue long before I've got here. Oh, I know. Um, I know. Pretty much Clifton Force Police Department has been a training ground for law enforcement officers to come here, get certified, mm -hmm. leave, and go on. Um, as you can tell by the chart here, they get state certified. They can go anywhere within the state. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't they? go somewhere else as of Covington or the Sheriff's Office when as soon as you leave you're getting a four thousand dollar increase. We lost one to Dalphin State Park. There's been officers that's left here to go to Dalphin State yeah. Park, the Sheriff's Office, uh, Pottawatta County Sheriff's Office that's where the, uh, the current one's going to. Mm -hmm. And I mean I'm not saying that we can actually match the pay grade with these other departments but I feel that uh, I feel that the way I'm trying to run the department and the way that it's moving forward, mm -hmm. that we can at least compete with uh, a $2,000 to $25,000 uh, or $2,500 difference in the increase of pay. So let me ask you this. Is there anything we can do about this insurance? I, I never That's saw where sure. they pay for That's the That's going to be a big sticker. Elect Bernie sure. Sanders. Huh? Elect Bernie Sanders. From but I only did that 
We well, would not have to just pay not insurance for no, anybody. It's want. just it's just not the police, it's the school system. Oh really? Everybody. And that's Virginia retirement system. Well it's Allegheny County. It's just a nightmare. Is the state of Virginia does state? not have their own system. Oh, okay. That's what I want. We don't have our own. Have yeah. no, what we have well, in Virginia, if you're well, if you're large enough as a community, you can be self-insured. Mm -hmm. um, your big cities are, mm -hmm. um, or you can go out and get a you know a premium quote for your individual jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. A lot of jurisdictions combine it with their school systems, mm -hmm. so that you have a higher volume. Um, in the case of small communities, and there are more small communities in Virginia than there are large cities, mm -hmm. um, they have what's called local choice, mm -hmm. and that's what we're a part of. Mm -hmm. And as a local choice participant, some years we have zero increase in our premium, because it's based upon the experience of all of those small jurisdictions that are a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, last year we had an increase, they've already told us, um, I just reported to you what the increase will be uh, for the coming year, and we run July the 1st through June the 30th. Mm -hmm. um, now our plan is a good one, because it's not only health insurance, it's dental, and it's vision. Well, it's good if yeah. it's just you, but if it's your wife, absolutely. Or your children, absolutely right. Crazy. We play all of the employees. Yeah, only, only the And so we're paying, you know, right now we're paying $729 a month for every employee to have health insurance. The sheriff's office, as you can see in the county, pays $425. A month for a family plan. Okay, and that's, that's, exact, a good that's the exact insurance that the town has. No, oh. it's the same town. That's the same insurance that the town covers. Same company. Sure. Well, we just don't have. We don't pay into it like the county. Like I the don't sheriff. think they're in local choice. I have to check on that, but I was pretty sure it was. Yeah, is this where is this thirteen? Is that one a month? Yes. yes. That's crazy. Yes, it is. That'd be like your employee and his wife. That is crazy to me. Okay, sorry, Jay. Yeah. And just to give you an example, <laughs> I've got, I mean, if you look, a lot of these uh, comparisons, you'll see that after a new hire completes a one year uh, probation period, they get bumped up. I've got an officer that's been here four years and is making $1,000 more than he was when he started. Uh, one officer has been in a sergeant's position going on approximately 10, 10 years. And he is in just barely above the Covington Police Department after a uh, one year probation has been complete. So, I mean, they're completing their contract period, which most contract periods last three years, and are making $10,000 more than Clifton Forge officers are that have been here for that period of time. So, I mean, can I compete with that? <laughs> no, no, absolutely no, not. No, not no. when it comes to the dollar. So, yeah, sure. And as far as the job itself, uh, Darlene was right. I mean, you just don't get people knocking down the doors to be in law enforcement. But the ones that you do, you want to keep. Uh, since I've been here, what's my year mark will be March the first. I've had officers shot at, knives pulled on them, assaulted, and other agencies are getting paid uh, six to ten thousand dollars more for doing the same job. So, you know, what online. Chad is proposing that, that I do support, if we can find the funds to do it, is not only to increase the minimum, the starting, uh, but then to have an opportunity after the year's probation to do an increase. And then after the three year, irrespective of whether or not we give cost of living adjustments. These would just be based upon years I'm of in experience. Full agreement. People should have some career path yes. to know at the end of the year I'm going to get this. I, I'm, I'm in full agreement with you, but you got to figure out where it's coming from, I guess. Um, yeah, because it, <laughs> you just don't do one. You, know, so. you can't say I want to have a police department and then just not pay them. You know, I know a lot of people, I know Carl Brinkley told me when I was running, if you want to win, don't say nothing about getting rid of those police. So I know the people here want to have a police department. So if we want to have it, we want them paid. 
And um, I, I'm in the full agreement, so. Yeah, I think though that the insurance thing is something that definitely needs to be. That insurance but you got Because really you know, you can look at it, whatever you want to raise the salary to, and a person's looking at that yeah. big outlay personally, you know, I think any one of us shudders at that. So Chad, do you have any um, suggestions for that? For what's that, I'm insurance. sorry. Honestly, I have not. The only thing that I actually worked on was the actual salary increases. And did you, you notice? Well, I can't look at it just for police. Right. I've got to look at no, it for I'm all 45. Saying, do you have any Which would be for the probably. Cross the board into it too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. why, why is Allegheny County covered in so much less than that? So much less. Well, less in terms oh, of insurance. Well, yes. Get well, because yeah, Allegheny County, 425 a month family. A family. Yeah. They get more. Awesome. They have more, more employees and they have more revenue. More I mean, employees. Yeah. That's the big thing. And they raise their taxes every year. Mm. And we have not done that. Um, we, we put it, we raised the meals tax stuff. Didn't we? Right. Yes, we did twice. Yes. With twice. With multiple actually, complaints. Yeah. Um, With what? Multiple, multiple complaints. complaints. Okay, so the county I can or only at the time that you increased it. At the time it. we increased it. I can understand the county, but the only restaurant said. owner that didn't complain was Three Michelle. Three hundred and seventy a month. They said it ain't really. I'm not. I'm saying. not sure what type of insurance that is. Do you know, darling? No, I don't have the details on their insurance. I was really, I asked. She had to put insurance on here, and then I got from Leanna what our increase was going to be, just to show you that even as we adjust salary, mm -hmm. we still have that issue. And right. I've said to you all, and I've said it publicly, that our joint public works director mm -hmm. position, we agreed to put on the county payroll because it helped on the insurance side. I mean, can we can we combine insurance with the county? Yeah, can we do that? We have separate employees, yeah, but we have separate salaries, but the insurance pool would be yeah. larger. Can we look at that? I can at ask least. about it, but I think they're on a very different plan than we are. And we don't, we as a school, we, we don't even have the same insurance as the yeah. county. If anything, really? that would be the yeah. way most communities go, is they put plan. their school I health insurance so out at the same time as the jurisdiction so yeah. that you have a higher volume. I've seen that done many, many times. Yeah. I bumped up police salaries up twice yeah. beyond anything we've given other employees. Right. And I hear, yeah. every time I do it, I hear, well, you know, the fact that we've got people who've stayed, I agree. you know, for a I long agree. time, you're kind of ignoring us so as you go, you know. The employees um, have a career path such as this. After one year, they're gonna get. A, no. no, nobody has that. No man. I think that's good across the board, actually. Um, there you go find people it. should have something to work toward. I mean, you know. Well, we got well, big turnover. Many departments are small. And if you know, like the library department has three or four people. What, what is your career path? They only have two full-time employees at the library. Right. And then yeah. Your biggest turnover so is the police department and public work. But if you're going to give them, yeah. which I'm for, Chad, but uh, you got to look at all the employees. You can't just say we're going to give the police and this then, yeah. after one year and, and, and nobody else. And they've been working here for... 19, yeah. 20, 30 years. I wish we could do our no, no, employees in the county program. Two sergeants. I thought you didn't have it. I got two. All right. I mean, I mean, we All right. Well, again, uh, no decisions tonight as okay. much as to let you know that, that we think we need to make some changes and when you make it just for the recruit you're going to have to make it for the others it may not be exactly the same amount but we're going to have to shift people because otherwise it'll be like Chad said somebody has been here a long time but is not making right. but a couple thousand dollars more than a brand new person so that's going to require a lot of calculation so but let me ask you since we're 2,000 less in population in Covington mm -hmm. and two square miles less than that you know, I understand that we can't be on the nose with what they're paying, but there needs to be less of an issue when it comes to money I don't think so. to retain these officers. Because if not, I mean, we have no five to 10 year people other than myself and uh, 
a sergeant right now and that's the meat and potatoes pretty much when he gets to a, to a police department because like I said we haven't changed anything than what we've continued to do over the years and that's just be a training department for somebody to come get certified and move on what Chad has tried to do you know is um, to get more training for his officers so they feel like they're getting some attention to you know uh, their opportunities for the future hopefully with us mm -hmm. and not with um, another department and that's why particularly this um, police officer first class that he has talked to me about um, I think is something that maybe we ought to even uh, consider doing something fairly quickly if not monetarily some recognition um, so people understand that we realize their importance to us if they have served for three years um, and that's really what got us started on the conversation was trying to talk about that. the training that these guys are getting and the numbers that we're doing I don't know hopefully y'all y'all look at your monthly reports that are issued to you we had a hundred and six more arrests than last year and still maintained an 80% clearance average when the national average is, I forget what was on there, in the teens. <coughs> I mean, you know, these guys are out here doing it. I mean, they're working, they're working long hours because we're short staffed. Uh, not many complaints. I mean, but you do have them on a 12 hour shift that they Yes, we changed from an eight hour like to that. a 12 hour. And even though they're putting these hours in, they're not complaining because they can use the overtime but still that being said they're still out here yeah. busting her butt getting a job done um yes i'm gonna get them all the training that they're can actually take because dcjs standards to get them into certain classes have pre prerequisites mm -hmm. but if i don't get them certified in these specialty classes it's just a disservice to the community and to the department mm -hmm. you know but if, it, if it's a feel good thing for them so be it but at the end game you know it's better for the community. I'm doing this, but when it comes to retention, I'll do my part. But when it comes to the budget, that's uh, or the salaries, it's kind of out here. So. That's on us. Yeah. Don't train them too well because you don't need them all to leave. Well, I'm training them to leave, but I'm treating them to stay. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's the right that's way. That's a good quote. I can live Is with there it. anything we can do about getting some commitment on time? Well, right now we have a three-year contract. Okay. The contract starts after they attend and graduate successfully the basic police academy and finish out their FTO program. The two officers that we just sworn in last council meeting, they had just started their uh, contract term or their probation period. The probation is still one year probation, their contract term is three years. And it started the day they finished their FTO program. Right now, as I said, we do have three vacant positions that uh, Chad will be uh, recruiting and interviewing and selecting for and I want to put a fourth one uh, to that with the reallocation of that position that's been vacant since last July that was an administrative uh, position it requires us to put a little bit more money to it four or five thousand dollars but he needs that additional officer Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service.